What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Today, we are sitting in front of the Nike factory store. They have a grand opening tomorrow, but they're doing a soft release today. There's already people camping out. We came by about 12 hours ago last night and there were people already in line. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff happening, people moving around, we got chairs, and so many different situations, the security already coming out. So stick around, let's see what's gonna happen. Hopefully we can get some shoes. I heard they got some dope stuff inside. I'm looking forward to copying some stuff and showing you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So everybody was just crowded in the front, now they moved everybody over here to the side. Nobody's in line. That, that's why we're asking you guys to back up. So we can hear back 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 back. Back. It, comes, it starts from the back. Yes. And so obviously, a lot of these people that have not been here. And, and all right? these people so that were thinking, all these the people that were thinking that they were holding this spot in line, were not holding this spot in line. So you guys are just backed up, thinking you're going to get in first. This not how it. I've been to many releases over the years, right? And this is typically what happens. Everybody starts to crowd around. This is what happens. They give them a time slot, and they say, "Okay, you can go over here at this time." And people think they have a designated spot because they came earlier. There have been people that have literally been camped out here since 10 or 1 in the morning, late, late, late at night, and they're not going to be able to reserve that spot. So it's like fair game right now, and everybody's like waiting to see what's happening. Everybody starts crowding up. And the closer and closer it gets to 9 o'clock, it's going to be more people, and it's going to just get worse and worse. And then people start pushing and shoving and all that different stuff. So. We're gonna see what happens. Obviously, I wanna get a good spot in line. I got here really, really early to show you guys what's going on. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can get some. So stay tuned. How you feeling? I'm worried, bro. <laughs> you worried? <laughs> Trying to get a spot in this line. I feel you, I feel you. How you feeling? <laughs> I just woke up, I'm good, man. <laughs> I think I'm a secure spot. Let's see what we can get today. Mm -hmm. So it is currently 8.15 right now. And we're gonna go see how long this line is now. And then we'll check back probably in like 30 minutes to see where the line's at then. But as of right now, kind of distancing, but more people are crowded in the front than they are back here. So the line may look a little bit longer, but we will see. So we're currently on the second block right now and we still got people going. It doesn't go to the end of this block, but we got a good amount of people down here. I don't know if you can see down there, right there. The line is definitely gonna grow. People keeping their distance was a solid over here, but at the front, everybody's really, really close to each other. How long y'all been here? Since 9.45 p.m. 9.45 p.m.? 9.30. Was y'all outside the whole time? You were in the car, what happened? Uh, we were outside for like a good 40 minutes just looking inside the store. Okay. But then we started chilling in the car because it was way too cold out here. You anticipating any shoes coming out? I mean, we kind of looked in there already. They had some sevens, some fours, uh, some Concord bread loaves. But I mean, got you. Okay, okay. So we got some good stuff. Y'all ready for it? Yeah. All right. So we got five minutes until nine o'clock. Let's see what happens. A few moments later. Okay. So the originally they had groups lined up six feet apart. My glasses is fogging up right now. But basically, uh, now it's every single person six feet apart. So the line is very, very long, but. You gotta remember they're six feet apart between everybody, but there's definitely at least a couple hundred people out here for sure. All right, so my glasses is fogging up, but I'm telling you guys right now, they just gave us all the guidelines and everything. One, one color, one style, whatever, you get one per style, one per color, whatever it may be. You have a $5,000 spending limit. There's about 150 people in line right now, and they're only letting 22 people in at a time. We're probably like close to the 30th in line, so we'll probably get in on the second batch. You got roughly around 30 minutes to shop, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'll see you guys maybe when I get inside or when we get to the house and I'll show you what I pick up. All right. Okay, so we are back and I ended up picking up five pairs of shoes. So let's go ahead and go over them. The first thing that I did get was this tote bag right here, a Portland, Oregon tote bag for the Nike factory store. Anyone who made a purchase in the store over the weekend got a complimentary tote bag for free. And honestly, this thing is pretty nice, but I know you guys don't wanna see this. Let's look at the shoes. So as you guys can see, this is an Air Jordan 4 box. I thought they were gonna have the bread for us. Unfortunately, they did not, but I was happy to get these because I got rid of my old pair and now I have another pair for the collection. 
We have an Air Jordan 4, what the? I got these for $83.79. Typically at Nike factory stores, you're gonna find a B grade or regular releases there discounted at a good price. So for me personally, there were other B grade options that they had there when it came to like the Jordan 11 Concord Bread Low or something like the Olive 12. But personally, I just didn't feel like picking up any B grade sneakers and I just wanted some of the regular ones with no flaws on them. Next up is a shoe that I wanted to get on release date, but unfortunately they sold out in a size 13. They had 12s and 14s available and I just didn't really wanna buy it if it wasn't in my size. I seen they had a size 13 sitting on the shelf, so you know I had to get it. The Air Jordan 10. In Seattle now this isn't the OG but this is a retro and I'm not mad at the retro and I feel like this is a classic must have in your collection so when I was able to grab these I had to pick them up and for $91.87 it's hard to say no one of my favorite hits on this shoe is obviously the outsole with the green stripes and the yellow jump man and then the leather is honestly not that bad especially having the Nike Air with the inside on the insole with the nice OG vibes bruh yes I'm so happy I have these now this shoe right here for some may know and some may not this is the Air Jordan 13 low clot so let's go ahead and check it out got a little card right here gold jump man with the gold hit right here and let's look at the shoe when I saw this shoe sitting on the shelf, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it up or not, but I was like, I might as well add it to the collection to have a good story, saying that I did wait out in the cold for hours for waiting for shoes. So I was like, you know what? Might as well grab it. I'm already here. And I ended up picking these up for $131.24. Retail was $200, so that's already a major discount on it right there, and I ain't mad at it. This is definitely a unique shoe. I feel like it might need some time to grow on me, but there are some dope hits, especially with the pods right here with the translucent areas, different things like that. I think it's just the design and yes it is a Jordan 13 low drop a comment down below and let me know how you feel about these next up is a shoe that I wanted to get very very badly and I didn't have it in my size but they had a size 14 so you know what that means if they ever have a 14 and they don't have my size I'm always gonna cop it for my dad so if you haven't seen the video where I gave my dad the Oregon 5s and I compared them to the Michigan 5s well you know I got the Oregon 5s but I never ended up with the Michigan 5s and now I finally got a pair in a size 13. And I'm so glad to be able to purchase this version and not have to spend a bunch of money just for the PE to have the hand on the back and other little small differences on the tongue and different things like that. So honestly for 105 bucks, it's hard to say no. Okay, last up, you guys know this box. I'm pretty sure everyone does. It's a little bit damaged, but the shoes aren't messed up. We got a Fear of God bag right here, and they had a bunch of different Fear of God shoes there available. By the time I had got in, all the Fear of God ones were sold out, but they still had shoot around, and guess what? They had the OG black colorway in a size 13, so you know what that means. I had to pick it up. Again, I have a problem, I know, but typically if I wait in line, I'm gonna end up cashing out and buying some shoes because what's the point of waiting in line and not buying those shoes? So retail on these was $300 and I got them for $196.87. Again, very hard to pass up on a good deal like this. So after camping out in the cold and meeting a bunch of cool people in the line, man, honestly, I had a good time and I was able to get five pairs of shoes for just over 600 bucks. I think all great I think all great additions to the collection and I'm not mad at it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make sure that I documented the whole process and showed you guys what happened and what I got and all those different things because stuff like this doesn't happen too often. And me personally, I'm excited to watch this video years from now just to remember how the launch went and the shoes that I got and all the different things that happened with the store reopening because the outlet store here in Portland has been a huge staple for our community and everybody always shops there. And I've had so many great memories from sneakers that I purchased for amazing deals at this store so i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm out i'll see y'all later yo if you enjoyed this video and you want to make extra money or grow your shoe collection i want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I gots to go, I'm gone, peace.